Gustav Klimt, 1862-1918, was an Austrian symbolist painter and one of the most prominent figures of the Vienna Secession movement. His life and work left an indelible mark on the art world, particularly in the realm of Fin de Siecle Vienna. Early Life and Training Gustav Klimt was born on July 14, 1862, in Baumgarten, near Vienna, Austria, into a lower-middle-class family. He displayed early artistic talent and received formal training at the Vienna School of Arts and Crafts. His younger brother, Ernst Klimt, and friend Franz Match were fellow students. Together with Match and his brother, Klimt formed the company of artists initially focused on decorative and commissioned works, which provided financial stability. Secessionist Movement In 1897, Klimt, along with a group of artists, including Coloman Moser and Joseph Hoffmann, founded the Vienna Secession, also known as the Union of Austrian Artists. This movement sought to break free from traditional academic art and embrace new artistic directions. Artistic Style Klimt's distinctive style evolved from historical and allegorical themes to the more symbolist, decorative, and erotic subjects he is renowned for today. He was influenced by various artistic movements, including symbolism, art nouveau, and the arts and crafts movement. His work often featured intricate patterns, gold leaf, and a fascination with the female form. Notable Works some of Klimt's most famous paintings include The Kiss, Portrait of Adele Blockbauer I, and The Tree of Life. His golden phase, marked by liberal use of gold leaf, produced many of his iconic works and brought him international recognition. Commission Portraits Klimt was highly sought after for commissioned portraits, and he painted numerous portraits of prominent Viennese society members including Adele Blockbauer and Fritz Reidler. Controversy and Criticism Klimt's unconventional and sometimes controversial themes, as well as his exploration of sensuality and eroticism, drew both admirers and critics. His work, Nuda Veritas, featuring a nude woman as the embodiment of truth, stirred controversy and was initially rejected by the Vienna Secession. Legacy Gustav Klimt's legacy endures through his significant contributions to Viennese and international art. His work has inspired generations of artists and continues to be celebrated for its innovation and symbolism. His paintings, particularly Portrait of Adele Blockbauer I and The Kiss, have become iconic and are housed in prestigious museums worldwide. Later Years and Death Klimt's later career saw a shift in his style moving towards a more classical and sober approach. His final years were marked by increasing recognition and respect. He passed away on February 6, 1918, in Vienna, during the Spanish flu pandemic, leaving behind a rich and influential body of work that continues to captivate and inspire art lovers worldwide. Legacy and Influence Klimt's impact on the art world extends far beyond his lifetime. He is considered a pioneer of modernism and one of the most significant artists of the early 20th century. His work laid the foundation for the Art Nouveau movement and contributed to the development of modern design and graphic arts. Klimt's use of symbolism and his exploration of human psychology and sexuality had a profound influence on later artists including Egon Schiele and Oskar Kokoschka. His unique combination of symbolism, sensuality, and intricate patterning continues to inspire contemporary artists, fashion designers, and interior decorators. The Controversy Surrounding His Work Klimt's art was not without controversy during his lifetime. His exploration of sensuality, eroticism, and unconventional themes often brought criticism and debate. His painting The Beethoven Frieze received mixed reactions when it was unveiled, as its avant-garde approach challenged traditional artistic norms. Nuda Veritas, a painting that challenged societal expectations of female beauty and truth, was initially rejected by the Vienna Secession but later became an emblematic work in Klimt's portfolio. 
The Legacy of Woman in Gold One of Klimt's most famous portraits, Portrait of Adele Blockbauer I, also known as Woman in Gold, became the center of a legal battle in the 21st century. The painting was looted by the Nazis during World War II and was subject to a decades-long restitution process. In 2006, the painting was successfully reclaimed by Adele Blockbauer's heirs and eventually sold for a record-breaking price, drawing international attention to Klimt's enduring legacy. There is no self-portrait of me. I am not interested in my own person as a subject of a picture. I am convinced that as a person I'm not particularly interesting. There is nothing that's special to see when looking at me. These are the words of artists. Therefore, there are no self-portraits of Gustav Klimt, but some photographic portraits remain keeping his image. He was also a cat's lover. In conclusion, Gustav Klimt's life and artistic journey reflect the transformative period of Vienna's cultural and artistic history during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. His ability to merge traditional techniques with innovative symbolism, his fascination with sensuality, and his dedication to breaking artistic boundaries have solidified his place as an artistic icon. Klimt's influence on modern art and design continues to be celebrated and studied, making him an enduring figure in the annals of art history. Please comment, like, subscribe, and ring the bell to be notified by our future videos. Thank you.